it's five. Um, sitting here at the good old Bucky's. You know the good thing about Bucky's, especially in the summertime? Ice, 79 and 99 cents. There it is. This isn't a paid promotion by Bucky's, promise. I'm waiting on Lunkers to get here and then we are gonna take LFD's rig out. That's right, y'all. <laughs> Look at this rig right here. The double stacker. I already discovered something. This this lid right here. If you don't put these bungees down, that will fly up. And it did. I think something flew out of there. Maybe a life jacket. If you find that on Highway 35 here in Texas, hit me up. I hope at the very least over these years, I've inspired someone out there to just throw the yak in the truck or just Get in the truck and drive to somewhere you've never been with some fishing poles and actually go catch some fish somewhere. Let me know in the comments if you've done that. Maybe you watched one of these videos and got inspired to go do it. That makes me feel good as an outdoor man. I haven't had my coffee yet and I'm probably just rambling on and look like I've just woken up and that's pretty much true. So uh, it's time to get some coffee in us. Get Rob in the truck and get going. This is Sad Bubba. Lights aren't on. We're sitting here. Time to roll back into Bucky's for the just, third time. Yeah, it just left it. We always end up going in the middle of nowhere to go fishing. I know. There's not, there's not even out. a Chick-fil-A within 100 miles of where we're going. Quite the trek in here. If you guys aren't familiar with how serious the trek is, you can go check out Lunkers TV channel where I think one of your highest viewed videos is you getting stuck out here, correct? It's a day that he really doesn't like to reflect on too much. This is what we're dealing with. Looks like uh, some muddy water. The yaks that we're gonna drop in here and they made it successfully somehow through LFD's innovations. These wooden beams and some plastic and a little duct tape, some loose uh, ratchet straps. And <laughs> that one's pretty loose. <laughs> we somehow, yeah, I think coming down this crazy road, they got a little loosey-goosey. Which one do you want, Rob? You want the big one? Um. There's a 12 and a 14. Yeah, I'll take the 14. Okay, 14's more stable. <laughs> it's basically a boat, but I think you'll enjoy it. Woo! Love me a kayak! I feel like uh, I'm dropping my kid off at school. This is for, for like the first day of school here. <laughs> Get her going. You got it. You got your rods and everything. Oh no! I don't. Oh yeah. Of course. No, I don't have those. I probably need those. Okay, you ready? I kind of feel like I'm on the. There you go. Yeah. Off to a good start. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. You can stand. You're good. You'd be like an Indian in a canoe. I think I could probably make an entire video of just like Rob kayak lessons. Pretty entertaining. Look at him just row it around. <laughs> All right, get that rooster tail kick and I'll see you in a minute. Sorry, LFD, about the mud. This video is powered by the mystery tackle box. So let's get this kayak down. Um, probably should have got Rob to help me with that. If you guys want to get on board of the mystery tackle box train, you want to get boxes shipped to your house every month. There's little deals in there that tell you about. Um, what each bait is used for. You can go to um, MTB's YouTube channel. You can check out the video reviews uh, uh, on a lot of the baits in there. They kind of give you tips and tricks and uh, general patterns and things like that. That's free information, but if you want to get uh, set up, you can get $10 off your first box uh, if you sign up with uh, the code, which is down in the description at the mysterytacklebox.com website. Now just briefly, let's see what kind of delectables we're dealing with here. I'll put these things to the test. Hopefully we'll he'll hear Rob shout in just a minute with a fish catch. Uh, as I was explaining, you get one of these in every box. This is like what's in your box. It tells you uh, what the price of everything. It kind of explains uh, what it is. This is actually a whole little booklet. Also, usually in every box, there's some sort of fun sticker. I usually put it on like my, my little beer fridge at home or uh, some tackle boxes, but this one is a fish that's got a bunch of uh, stuff inside of it. It's like an x-ray. Let's get into the juiciness though. We've got a, uh, a cream. I've never really understood how to say that. Cream or creme? Creme? Is it French? 
I'm not really sure. Probably not. It's got a little worm with a crown on it. I think that's funny. This is the real screamer. <laughs> Get it? You know, real screaming? You got a big fish on? It's like This is a uh, black and purple bait, and I already see there is a Z-Man Midnight Chowder Bait in here. Mystery Tackle Box exclusive color. It's black and purple. It'd be great for night fishing or really dirty water like we have behind us. It's kind of like a like a brown. I see something moving right there. It's literally a bass up there in the shallows. You got that combo together, that's that's gonna go together. There is a jig in here, a football jig. This is the Perfections Lure stand-up football jig. So it's got these little feelers on the bottom of it that help it uh, stand up on the bottom. A flickety split, which is basically a ball-headed jig, um, like the flick shake technique. And there's a worm that goes with that. It's a, a Ketchco worm. There is a jerk bait. This is a Strike Pro. Might not be good with this water clarity. And then we have a, a big walking top water, an Ima. This is the little stick. And these type top waters, this is actually an old school, what I used to call a uh, pencil popper. I used to use them for, um, for stripers and stuff. It walks very aggressively side to side and it spits at the same time. Kind of like a spook, you know where it. Let's get this kayak wet. Let's get these lures wet. Let's get some bass on the line. Ooh, it is bright here today. Okay, I'm gonna start out with a little chatterbait action with the real screamer. This little doobler here, we're just going straight in. Oh, this water's so muddy, I'm not really sure how the top water bite's gonna be. I'm gonna go ahead and say it's probably on the downtrodden side. Well, sign of life. Is that your first cast with that chatterbait? You want to dual wield some chatters right now? It's about to get a paddle to the face. Who gets any closer? Um, big enough for me to throw a paddle at him. So after a brief exploration, uh, Lunkers pulled one really good one out on the chowder bait, probably about five. And then uh, he had one flipping as well. It became pretty obvious pretty quick that this is going to be a straight flipping day, I believe. All these bushes in here, super hard to get any kind of moving baits. Top waters, obviously, the, the water is freaking, it's chocolate milk. So that's not gonna be good. When you guys are looking at this kind of water, it's usually uh, throwing big, dark stuff. Jigs that are dark colors, June bug, black and blue, uh, green pumpkin even works. Something that's got a lot of movement to it on the, uh, on the trailer, on the plastic. So I think we're gonna have to go straight plastics and I didn't even have my braid rod in the kayak. I brought a straight braid rod. I'm gonna get that rigged up for flipping. And then we're gonna get in there deep, real deep black, and hopefully pull some toads out. All righty guys, back in the game. I'm gonna pull one of the baits out that I got in the previous MTV box. I think that's the deal. I think we made the right move. I'm going to flip them up now. Getting hot and still. It's a Texas, Texas day now for sure. This is probably gonna be some ridiculous hook sets, guys. Just gonna forewarn you. Not gonna be at my best. I think that bass I saw right off the bat this morning was actually, yeah. <laughs> Way up there. Oh, God. Oh, dude. Oh, my God. Dude, I just hit myself with a fish. I I dude, it, it smoked me. I, I mean, please tell me you got that. I don't know. If I wow. All right, guys. That was, I thought that was going to be like an eight, and it turned out to be an 11 incher. So, you guys. If Flunkers has that, you need to go to his channel and check that out because I literally, it hit me in the side. It hit me very hard. 20 mile an hour softball to the ribs. God. Oh, golly. That's a good one. Oh, jeez. Oh, my gosh. God. First flip into that tree. Gosh, dang. Ugh, the bruiser right in the top of the mouth. -hee -hee, yeah. Man, I tell you what, that's uh that's like five casts right there with an, the adjustments made. Flipping. Look how fat that fit. That's a post-spawn fish. Look at the tail. See how knobbed up that tail is? Got that little red mark. And normally post-spawn fish are skinny, but that one is fed up and that fought like a champ gotta love it baby you're pale 
You're pale, but I love you. Oh gosh! That one did not like me giving a little sniffy. 50 pound braid, throwing it on the LFG rod. Drag tight, giving it a dangle. It's been a while since I've had like Texas rig fish hang on to it that good. They slam it, dude. It's just, just an absolute slam. It out. Got it. Oh, he ripped my bait off. Oh no. Now I know it's really hard to see right here because I'm in the kayak, I'm sitting down and I have that chesty cam on and I'm having to like turn towards the side because of all the wind. But let me explain what we are doing. The technique is really easy y'all. It's called flipping. Of course I say it's easy. It takes a lot of practice to actually get the momentum down to pitch those baits up into the area, but to just give you the technicals of what this is. You know, you really need a rod that you can cast well or pitch well easily into that area, whatever's comfortable for you. For some people, it's under seven foot. For some people, it's like seven, six, however you can just get the momentum. You see this little unit right here, this star shaped little object right there? It's called a star drag. And what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and just blast that up because when you are pitching and flipping into this nasty cover you want to be able to have every ounce of drag and get that fish out as long as you have braid if you have braid and you are up there in the 50 65 80 pound braid even go ahead and lock that drag down so you can drag that fish out if you give the fish any momentum to go the opposite direction they're gonna go right into the bush and they're gonna wedge that hook and it's gonna pop right out of the mouth. We had that happen multiple times today. It happens to everybody that flips. You want to make sure to reduce the amount of times that happens because it's sadness. It's frowny faces and nobody wants it. The second thing about pitching and flipping that makes it real efficient is it's a quiet entry. You want to make it low towards the water, just a nice smooth release low to the water like you're trying to skip a rock. If you go for an overhand cast, it's gonna just splash down in the water. Plus, you're gonna to have to go through tree limbs to get it in there. It makes it super tough. So with pitching, it's really a underhand technique. So you're trying to go under the limbs. And if you do it right, it's kinda of like skipping a rock. You hit it just in front of the bush, get it to skip on the water a little bit, and then it just loop. Now if you're really good, you can just do a nice little wee, and then just like a little raindrop, sweet little raindrop hitting the water, and it goes in there quietly. The fish reacts to it, they didn't hear anything, nothing scared them, especially in shallow water, and then bam, they jump over there and they grab it. trees oh man man I was bringing up a whole tree with that when that starts happening you just keep the pressure on and keep coming that's a healthy one right there look at that mm. all right we've already been through all of these now this is the rage tail structure bug I mean I really wanted to catch them on top water and all that fun stuff that was in the box but I guess fun is a relative term this is fun right here they're just not going to come up and get a top water in this stuff. It's crazy. It's in the kayak. I can just get right up next to it and just pitch it in there. And it's so weird because they bite it and then your line starts moving right next to the boat. You're not used to getting bites that close, but there's, there's no noise in this thing, you know, or very little. Oh, God. Just, I just had another uh, slingshot mode there. That was up shallow. Absolute hammer explosion. Oh my gosh, ate it on top of the water and it's a good one. Ate it on top of the water. That's just how we're doing it today. Getting in the sticks and ripping them lips.
Woo-hee-hoo! Woo, -hoo. Woo diddy. That was basically a topwater strike. I was hanging over the limb and Rob just had one in the background. Look at that, that tail is literally dripping blood. Red juice coming out of it. Go have yourself an aggressive, wonderful day. Look at you, I can't even see you. What are you gonna do? What you gonna do right now? Ooh, they're feisty. The amount of sketchiness driving behind us right now, with these two kayaks strapped down. Oh, it's high. It's the stink meter is off the charts. I'm really trying to figure out how that was before. I think we did it the same way, but it just feels like it would it wouldn't make it the way it is. So we're gonna try to go back up all this crap that I didn't show you guys before. How much for you to take a bite out of the crap? Oh shh. <laughs> how much for me to take a bite out of that tree? <laughs> it's almost dead. Alright dad, we made well. I know you're not worried about me. The kayaks, though, made it home safe, huh? That's right. <laughs> well, I'm glad you made it home safe, too. Yeah. That's what, when you hit bumps, that's what it does, right? Yeah, it was kind of teetering the whole way home and freaking me out. Folks at home, that you too can build one of these tables. It's also a rod holder. The Devils is our rod holder. Now, I would classify today as a pretty awesome adventure. Me and Rob have gone on plenty of them. But well, this was an area that just felt like you're in the smack dab middle of Texas going through all those rocks and you just had cactus and uh, it would just look like you got dropped in the middle of nowhere and we pretty much were. I had no cell phone service all day and we just fished. It was a good time. And that's it. I got to go get rigged up to make another fishing video for you guys and the fishing is getting good. So till then, see ya. Hey, come here, babe. Tell everybody why they need to subscribe to the channel. Well, you need to subscribe to the channel because it's just an awesome channel. I don't know, you guys. That is the worst self bitch ever. Off guard. What is that? At least give this a smell. What does that smell like? I'm going to say garlic before I even smell it. That's right, you know it. <laughs> subscribe here anyway. Don't listen to her. Hit the ding dongs. Hit the ding dongs. <laughs> <laughs>